In this video, we're going to solve an example of the bisection method by hand, that is using a calculator and writing out the answers by hand. Example 3.2, use the bisection method to approximate the positive root of the function y equals ln of x minus 2 within an error of 1.e to the minus 2, so 10 to the minus 2. Use the interval 7, 8 to start. Now, Notice that I wrote the function in standard form. If you're going to use any kind of technology to work with this function, of course you need to have parentheses around the x. Okay, so let's go to our table. This is a typical table for the bisection method. N is the number of iterations. This is the column for the, the left boundary of the x interval, the right boundary of the x interval, the signs of their function values, respectively, the midpoint of this interval, and the sign of the function value of the midpoint, and the length of the interval. And when this gets to be smaller than our error, we stop. So this is our table. Let's write our function at the top. We have y equals ln of x minus 2 and we have that our error is 10 to the minus 2 and let's write that in decimal 0 0.01 and we were told that our left endpoint is 7 and our right endpoint is 8 and we have to check we have opposite signs here but this is how we get started right I'm going to use my Windows 7 calculator and so I'm going to find f of x left so I put in 7 and then I take ln of that minus 2 equals and that's a negative value so I write minus here pull up my calculator again 8 ln minus 2 and it should be positive otherwise I don't have a bracketed interval so this is positive here okay now you can do these things in whatever order you want, but this should always stay the same, so all of these should be minus here. All of these should be plus here. And now that we've confirmed that we're allowed to use the bisection method because we have opposite signs, let's work on our interval. So our first interval is b minus a, 8 minus 7, divided by 2 to the 1. So 8 minus 7 equals, divided by 2, equals 0 0.5. We have to get this to be smaller than this in order to stop. So we just keep dividing by 2, divided by 2. You don't have to write them down. divided by 2 again, 0 0.062, and we'll just continue there because we only need 3, divided by 2. We're keeping the exactness in our calculator though, 0 0.031, divided by 2, 0 0.015, this should be the last one, divided by 2, we got two zeros, that's what we need, 0 0.007. So with 0 0.007, we're less now than 0 0.01. So we've reached our error level, and what we want is this point right here. So when we fill in that square, we're done. Okay, now we're right here. Find the midpoint. So get our calculator, 7 plus 8, these two. Hit equals, divided by 2 equals 7.5 is our midpoint. We need to know the sign of the function value. So 7.5, we hit ln minus 2 equals, and that's positive. Positive means we throw away the positive. So we're going to throw away this one here, and this is where 7.5 will come down here. So 7.5 comes here, and this remains 7 here, so that these signs agree. 7 goes with minus, and 7.5 goes with plus. We go on to finding the midpoint of those two. 
So 7 plus 7.5 equals, divided by 2 equals 7.25. So that's 7.25. You want to make sure you write down all the decimals for the x's, but just the signs for the y's. So now we need the function value, so we hit ln minus 2 equals, that's negative this time. So which one do we throw away? The negative, so that's the 7 this time. So 7.25 comes here, 7.5 remains here, and now we're looking for the midpoint of those two. So 7.25 plus 7.5 equals, divided by 2, equals 7.375, 7.375. We need to know the sine of the function value, so we take ln of that, minus 2 equals, and it's negative. So again, we're throwing away the left one, because the left one here is negative. So we throw away this one, we have 7.375 here, 7.5 here, and we're ready to look for our new midpoint. 7.375 plus 7.5 equals, divided by 2 equals, 7.4375, 7.4375, I'm writing down all the decimals here. Now I need to know the sine of the function value, so ln of that minus 2 equals, that's positive, so now we're replacing the right hand side, so this one comes down 7.375, this one is 7.4375, and we're looking for the midpoint of those. Four three seven five plus seven point three seven five equals divided by two equals seven point four zero oh, six two five seven point four zero oh, six two five. We need the sine of the function value, so ln minus two equals positive. So again, we're throwing away the right-hand side. We're throwing away this one, the right-hand side, the positive. So we have 7.375 and 7.40625. So 7.375 plus 7.40625 equals, divided by 2, equals 7.39, we have one more to go, 7.390625, so 7.390625, and we need the sign of the function value, so ln minus 2 equals, that's positive, there's no sign up here, so it's positive, so again we're throwing away the right hand side, so we have 7.375 here, and 7.390625 here. We just need to find the midpoint, and we're done. 7.375 plus 7.390625 equals, divided by 2, equals. 7.3828125, 7.3828125. Now, something that's very important here, our error is to 001 on this root. So, we're actually only going to use three of these decimal places. So, our answer is 7.3828. 3, round into the third place, plus or minus 0 0.01. This is our answer. 
Let's first check this against a GeoGebra solution, which automatically uses Newton's method. And we see for our function f of x equal to ln of x minus 2, the function goes through this point here, which is 7.38, and if we go to three decimals, 9. That's within our range here, so we're good. Let's just check to see the GeoGebra working of this hand working that we did. Here's the GeoGebra worksheet for that process, and we can see that the last row here, where we have stopped, is exactly the same row, the seventh row, with exactly the same data, and so we know that we are good. So that, as we say, is that.